Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gnome here. Today we're checking out Nezahal Primal Tide. I was kind of getting tired of doing new stuff and I was like, what old stuff have I not done? And I never touched on Nezahal. I kind of really had this idea from my friend Bubba in the Discord. He was like, I'm playing a Nezahal deck. And I'm like, that actually sounds pretty fun. Never really built around this guy. It's really good, except you need to have a lot of cards in hand. So this card is a draw a shit ton of cards deck and just hope you draw into the right stuff. We have Transcendent Message, Chemistry's Insight, Rhystic Study, Pull From Tomorrow, Treasure Cruise, Dig Through Time, The One Ring, Blue Sun Zenith. All these cards will make us draw a ton of cards. Even stuff like Flow of Knowledge. Draw a card for each island you control. Uh, that's just really, really good. Nezzo Hall's Discard Effect, Discard Three Cards, works really well when you have something like Wander. Basically gives Nezzo Hall flying. It's really easy to discard, so it makes Nezzo Hall a little bit harder to block. Since Nezahal doesn't have any ward or hexproof or anything, that's why we have to draw so many cards in the deck. Maybe possibly even go lower CMC, I think, with some of these draw spells because something like Transcendent Message, we don't have a lot of creatures in the deck, so the Convoke cost doesn't really interest us. But I decided to add it in here sometimes because we do have a Shark Typhoon, so maybe we can make something out of it. And also Watcher in the water. So we do make tokens, but it's not always going to be like that. The deck is a lot of fun because it's not your typical Mama Blue deck. There are a few counter spells in here like wash away and counter spell but what i really focused on was stuff to hurt our opponent's creatures make them lose their abilities witness protection eaten by piranhas frogify catch me to transformation and prison in the moon these things are gonna hopefully stop our opponents long enough so we can do our thing this deck really just loses to like shieldred and maybe smothering time this deck is a lot of fun you draw a ton of cards and you have to set up the board which kind of sucks but that's just the name of the game with a deck like this i tried to run this deck without Cyclonic Rift and River Jabuke, but I just kept going up against the most obnoxious decks and I'm like, I just need stuff to help us clear the board so we can just buy ourselves a turn. So I had Fairy Slumber Party and I'm also trying to run Asinine Antics, but I don't know how I feel about this card. It really doesn't do anything to our opponent's creatures, it just makes them 1-1. So I'm really worried more about the abilities of their creatures instead of the power and toughness. But that's the deck. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And let me know if you guys have built a Nezahal deck. I know it's been a while since we've seen this commander, but I thought it'd be fun just to visit some old commanders that you really don't see a lot of in the queue since the queue is kind of getting a little stale. So without further ado, let's get right into it and let's see what the deck does, shall we? Opponent goes first and we, we've got a pretty good hand if they don't start too fast. If we can get to, was it seven mana for Cyclonic Roof and overload it, we could buy a little time. Ah, but Elf Ball is the way to go for Voja, and that's exactly what we're gonna face. Elf Ball is so good. Just, just a Voja is just a really good commander, <laughs> and it benefits from having elves. Anything, anything that benefits from having something that you would normally already be playing is usually very good. Now my damn Mindstone costs three. Thalia, thank you. I guess that means they're playing creature spells. Rumor gatherer. All right, we're gonna flash in Malcolm. Just Bar Sentinel has freaking reach, doesn't it? What kind of nonsense is that? Let's see if they block. I don't think they want to block their mana dork. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. We can probably get rid of Blue Sun Zenith. That's going to cost way too much mana. Kind of want to keep mass manipulation, but if we have to discard this, we can. I'm not really tripping. Maybe if I can take take control of Oja. Ah, forget Forget about the Ward 3 crap. Nah, maybe not. I can't even target it with the Cyclonic Rift. It's going to cost me my whole turn. But it might be worth it. Uh, this is an Elf. This is a Human Soldier. This is an Elf. So they're going to get a buff by 2. Uh, let's just play a key to the Archive. And hope we get... Uh, oh, Demonic Tutor. Let's get rid of mass manipulation. Actually, maybe I can keep that. 
Maybe Ledger Shredder. Let's get rid of Ledger Shredder. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and swing. We're gonna, we're gonna lose a lot of life, but I think that's okay. Yeah, let's get rid of Pile Galandro. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mana. Demonic Tutor costs three. Cyclonic Rift is going to cost eight. So we need another land. Oh, he tapped out his mana here. He tapped out his L, so we won't take a lot of we don't we won't take a ton of damage like I was initially thinking we were. We could have took an extra seven damage there. We got it. Um I'm just gonna go ahead and swing. Raven form is great. Bankbuster, let's get rid of Bankbuster. In the turn. Um Cyclonic Worth is gonna come and clutch here. I'll let them play out their stuff. They have us dead. They should know that we have a ace in the hole. Torrents. No problem there. They should have swung first and then played stuff out. Because now they're going to just waste the turn there. Uh, let's do this now so they don't get to draw a card. Off of the Voja trigger. They might scoot. Maybe. Hey, that's the only thing that helps us stand a chance against stuff like this. Gotta play stuff like that because you play Voja. It's only fair to get hit with a Cyclonic Rift. And if he plays Volja, we can maybe take control of it with mass manipulation. Maybe. Ooh, commit's really good. Uh, we can play Nezahal. I'm gonna swing with Malcolm and we can start playing stuff for free. Cast a discard a card without paying its mana cost. Alright. We get a free demonic tutor. Damn, how about how about tutoring for zero mana? How about that? That's gross. Did I play a land yet? I did not. Let's right, play our land. Ooh, gotta go get the hall breaker whore. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Wait, oh, did he put Volja in the command zone? He could have put it in his hand. I guess opponent screwed that up, didn't he? Alright. I think we might be able to win this one. I think. Opponent, I don't think you're going to like that. Oh, they blocked the Malcolm. Oh, that was... We played in as a hall. Turn target not land permanent. You can have that back, sir. And I guess I should foretell this since we have the mana. Alright, do your worst, Volja. If you have a board wipe, I would be really surprised.
Well, he also messed up by putting it in his command zone. In the command zone instead of putting it in his hand, so. Uh, we don't have the cards to um, flicker Nezahal, but that's okay. They're just going to try to make a board state here. Guess what? We're just going to steal it with mass manipulation. Call it GG's. <laughs> Draw a card. Thank you. All right. Four, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, yep, we got three exactly. You can have the Swift foot boost back. <laughs> oh, I love that. Bolja, meet your maker. Opponent goes first up against Tesa Karlov. If we can hit our land drop, this would be a really good hand. Do I bank on that? We do go second, so we'll get to draw a card on the first turn, so. If we went first, I don't know if I keep this hand. We are risking it. We are risking it. Tesa needs a little bit to set up their board as well, so. We'll be in the same boat here. Oh, this is nice. Now, if only we can draw a land next turn. We could potentially play Ageless Insight or Solemn Simulacrum. High Martial Arkle. I'm gonna have to eat by Piranhas that. Let's play Solemn Simulacrum. We ramp and then we can block. I can always play the Eaten by Piranhas in the next turn. Because they're probably gonna want to play Tesa here if they have a land. And then swing with more a high martial argle so we can block it. If they do that, I won't block. If they don't, oh hidden stock model. Okay, so now I might want to block. That does ramp them. I could just take it. Could block. Do that though. That gives them that gives them a land to sacrifice, sacrifice things. They don't. I guess they they have a sacrifice outlet and hidden stockpile, so they still have to pay one mana to sacrifice, so they can still get get away with it. Um, that means our eaten by piranhas is pretty much useless. Uh, midnight clock. Yeah, let's midnight clock. Then we're gonna play Teferi's Angel's Insight. Decline. I guess, uh, I guess eating, playing eat my piranhas would have been the better play last turn. Because now they can get double high martial argo death triggers. It's not all bad though. We could just play Eaten by Piranhas on the Tesa. I have to sacrifice it. And then we can always play the one ring. So there's that little number. Um, we could just wait and see what they do as well. Let's play the one ring. I will pay the one. Gives us protection. We'll pass the turn. We can play this at flash speed and draw a card from the one ring in the same turn. Let's see what they do though. Might, they might just sacrifice the Ar Argle here. Pay two life. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Um, okay, let's do this now. So 
so they'll probably sack the Argyle in response. Mm-hmm. Now they have two triggers. Hmm, do I let them do I let them draw that now? Sure. And they can just bring back High Marshal Argo with the Phyrexian Reclamation. That's a pretty good hand they had there. It's a really good hand they had there. Oh, and they have Blood Orders? Come on. It's like the god hand for Taysa Karlov. Alright, we gotta draw something here. <sighs> well, that's just annoying. That's just annoying. Let's see, we got Stasis Field. Nothing really works against this deck because I can just sacrifice it. Which is, which is kind of annoying. Let's start off with this. Let's get rid of Blood Artist. Uh, do I pay the one? Sure, I'll pay the one. Exile that, get that out of here. And then... Let's file Galandriel. I hate that they destroyed our Ageless Insight. That was going to give us a lot of cards. We need Cyclonic Rift or Rivers of View or something to bounce everything back to their hand. It's the only way this really works. Oh, okay. They get rid of Stasis Field, probably. Because they'll sack Taste of Karloff here. I think. Blood Artist was about to be their win con. That was going to be their way to just to get over the top, but they keep making flyers. We don't have anything to do with flyers right now. Hmm. Nah, that's pretty annoying. Yeah, we des desperately need like Rivers of Beak or something here. Block here. He gets to sacrifice the Marshal Argyle and they make make uh, two, four, three vampire tokens. Um, can we draw it from this? No, we can't. Play quick study. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can draw a card. Ugh. Nothing. Mr. Insight doesn't even give us a doesn't even give us a board wipe. We go first up against Massacre Girl. And man, this hand is not that great. Uh, let's mulligan. I like the Arcane Signet, but that was the only thing that we could use there. This, this, is, this could be pretty good. A little risky, keeping it with two lands, but... There we go, we drew into our third land. That'll get us playing Replicating Ring on turn three. That's gonna feel good. We'll even ramp a little bit with the set of robots, and we could possibly draw a card with Aether Channeler. Yeah, let's go ahead and ramp here. It's 
kind of like just playing our land drop for the turn since we didn't hit a land drop, but it's ramp. It's a land drop. We'll take it. Pressing obliterator. That's not good. Um yeah, we'll bounce that back to your hand. And we'll pass a turn. We can quick study on in step instant speed. Get also eaten by piranhas. Flash that in, put it on that. Uh Defiler of Dreams. Play that. Swing with the robot. Now they might have a uh enchant removal. That was like a few that we've gotten over the years for black. Ugh, destroyed my most hyped card I wanted to play. That's the thing with these five color cards, these, not five color, these five cost cards, man, like, they cost a lot of mana to play and they don't protect themselves, it's like, it's kind of a big ass mana for five, five mana. And they just get blown up. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just annoying. But you don't see a lot of them played. Unless they're like super good. They've got to do something by themselves. Alright, we'll end the turn. We can flash in Fairy Mastermind and do quick study. It's hoping to draw land there that we can possibly flash in Hallbreaker Horror. Sir Conrad. We're all out. One mana left for them. Alright, we'll flash in the mastermind. And then we'll do quick study. We got wonder, so we gotta find a way to get rid of that. Um Could just play Neza Hall, but I feel like they have tons of removal in their hand. We'll just swing up high. We can always flash in the Hallbreaker Horror. We have seven mana. Massacre Girl. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll let that happen. You can you can draw a card. Pretty sure they have way more removal on hand. Kinda scared to flash this in. <laughs> Honestly. I'll take the six. I man, I just really hope they don't have a, a block here. I think they do still uh Draw. Alright, sweet. I played out all their mana. Alright, we'll frogify the Master Girl. Send the Conrad back. And I'm gonna I'm gonna end up swinging. Yeah, they'll probably block us. Okay. We have a wash away for them trying to uh, play Masker Girl again. Feed the swarm. I can deal with this. Let's get rid of this, 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 this. 
That's the so six. There we go. Turn target spell. Let's choose pull from tomorrow. And we'll choose your stick study. Feed the swarm again. Let's counter that. Just hope they don't have another removal spell. <laughs> they are mono black, so there is a chance. I'm honestly, very surprised they're playing through this. leave up man we're gonna play pool from tomorrow if they don't have any removal we just draw a ton of cards with pool from tomorrow they are gonna have a hard time getting through Hallbreaker War I'll tell you that Right, they tapped out, so eight, nine. We'll just do this. Draw a ton of cards. Return blood and the snow back to the hand. This might be GG's. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> That's just gross. <laughs> 